Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making a low poly mountain or I'll be teaching you how to make a low poly mountain. So um it's quite a simple process. If you saw my latest speed art, it was of that low poly nature scene and it had some mountains in. I'm very impressed with my mountains. Um so I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on it. So when you first open up Blender here, you want to see this Blender render. No, go away. We're going to hit the Cycles render instead. Um, so that's our first step. Then we're going to hit the B key on our keyboard, make a selection like so, and hit X. Bye bye. Let me just turn on screencast keys for you. There we go. Um, so you can see that all the keys I've pressed here, and also my mouse thing, so I can you can see I'm moving like so. So if you ever get lost, look down here. I'll go slow and most. Um, I'll explain as much as I can. So we want to right click. Sorry, we want to go to Add Mesh Plane, and we're going to drag our plane out, holding clicking the S button for scale, so it hits the grid, the size of the grid. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to view top, view orthogonal mode, and then we're going to hit tab. This will enter edit mode. Tab toggles edit mode and toggles edit mode off, etc. from object mode. Then we're then going to hit Z. This enters wireframe mode. They're just some simple keys um, I'm teaching you right now. But we're going to just leave it not in wireframe mode, we'll just leave it in solid. We're then going to hit W on our keyboard. And it comes up with these special things. We're going to hit subdivide. Do this while you've got the shape selected. We're going to subdivide it again, again, and we'll do it one more time. So now we've subdivided our plane here. So it doesn't look any different, we've just subdivided it so we can click all these little vertices, faces and edges and stuff. Okay, so I want to make my mountains over here. So what I'm going to hit is I'm going to hit the O key on our keyboard and that enables proportional editing. You can just click this down here, so it'd be usually like that, you want to click enable. Or you can hit O for a quick easy thing. The fall off we definitely want on smooth. Um, you can also have it on random as well um, if you'd like to, just for a bit of randomness. Um, we're then going to select a point down here. We're just going to hold shift, select a point back here, and shift over here. So now we're going to Still in edit mode. We're looking at our plane like this. We're also going to turn off orthogonal mode because otherwise it looks weird. And we're going to hit G on our keyboard. G will open up this thing, this dial, this um, interface here, where you you lose all your things. You lose all this. It just comes up with this. So we're going to hit G. And you see this white circle come up. That's how much um, your brush is going to cover. So you can use the scroll me cool to make it huge. You can make it tiny. But if we want a smooth thing, we're going to cover it like that. We're just going to drag up. We're then going to click hit one point, drag up for some more refinement. And then we're going to change our proportional editing to random. So I'm going to select points here, go in random. You can edit these as much as you like, you can curve them, you can do all different things to your points. So we're just going to put that back on smooth, and there we have our mountains. Now, depending on you what you like your mountains to look like, we can select a few points here and there, and we can just drag them up, just to make it look 
like the mountains have spread a bit. Also, you can see our mountains have gone off to the side here. Go away, we don't want it like that. So we want a solitary peak, like so. Quite rigid as well. So here we have our very simple mountains. You can also spend loads of time on these or not. Um, in this tutorial, as you can see, very low poly style. I'm not going to spend much time on our mountains. You can mess around with your mountains as much as you like. And you also want to see where your camera is going to be. So I think I might have my camera somewhere like that. But we won't talk about that in a minute. So still in edit mode, we're then going to go to view front. Sorry, view right, how are we going to do? We're going to then hit the perspective orthogonal mode and we're going to hit Z on our keyboard to enter wireframe mode. Let's just go out of wireframe mode for now. And as you see, we've got this whole whole shape selected here. Sorry. We're going to add a quick material. Let's get out of there we go. So over here. Preferences, toolbox, whatever you call it, we're going to add a new material. On our plane here, we're going to click this button, this button, and for the ground, I'm just going to pick green, like so. The green I'm using is BAE791. And we're just going to leave it like so on a diffuse. Um, there we go. We're also going to make another color. We're going to, so let me just name this ground. We're also going to make another one. This is called um, Mountain. It's not spelt right, but who cares? And we're going to color that um, a gray. Gray, gray. Something like that. And then we're going to make a new one. We're going to call it snow. And we want on that on the highest white we've got. So there we go. We also want to paint the viewport color just to see what our color is going to look like. Like so. Do that with all of them. Okay, so now we've got what our shape will definitely be looking like. Um, we're also going to now hit edit mode and we're going to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to view the front. And we're going to hit the B key. And we're going to drag a selection where we think our mountains are. Our mountains are here and it will select that. We're then going to assign that material to those shapes. We're then going to hit the Z key and then A key to deselect. So now we've got our mountains, they've got some colour. If you don't like the way your colour is, you can simply just hit the C key select all these shapes we don't like it I'll leave it like that and then you can sign that round color like so okay now we just went out of the snow so first thing we're going to do we're going to change to face select on our keyboard we're going to go to view top can we do view top? Yeah. And we're just going to hit some faces. So the first face I'm going to hit is that one. That one, that one, and that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And there's one behind, like so. And then we're going to hit assign. And we'll just view the front. And there we have a very nice low poly mountainous scene. So, just to finish off, we're just going to exit edit mode, we're just going to add some lighting, and let me just edit that peak, it's really annoying me. Um, back into a vertice select here, that peak is really annoying. Yeah, look at that, that's disgusting. Come on, stop. So ridiculous.
you'd obviously spend loads of time on finding these. Unlike me, I'm a bad example. Okay, so now we're just going to set our camera and lighting. So um, I'll just set it up. Really simple camera. So I'm going to go to add camera. I'm going to pull it out. RX90. Just to make it like so. Let's just view the camera. Yep, that's fine. Also going to add a mesh plane. Drag that up. Scale it up like so and drag it behind. Like so. I'm going to view. I'm just going to make it as big as that. I'm going to then hit tab. I'm going to subdivide that. I'm just going to make A bit mountainous. Let's drag it off like so. It's very nice. And we're going to make that a blue colour. So we'll make a new material. We're going to make it a nice light blue. Maybe a bit. Yeah. We'll just select that as our viewport colour. View. Let's go to view camera, let's have a look at our scene. Very nice, very nice. Very bland, but I'm just teaching the low poly mounters. And we're just going to add a mesh. Sorry, we're going to add a lamp. We'll add a sun quickly. We'll. Something like so. Then I want it off to the side here. So. And we're going to change. To 0.3, and we'll just do a light yellow color for a sun color. And we just got render. And as you see, it didn't render very well because we haven't added enough um, samples here. But other than that, it's really nice, low poly mountains, and we're just going to give this a render of 200. And Bump that up to 100% resolution. Give it a quick render. Okay, guys, so the render's finished, and uh, it's uh, not a bad outcome for something is so simple like this. Um, so, as I said, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next one. Okay, see ya.